Hello, everyone. We have some exciting news today. Yeah. We are launching, finally launching our whey protein isolate, okay, chocolate flavor with colostrum. So today you are going to learn all about it and why every single person needs to be taking this. I'm Lisa, and this is Dr. Ryan, and thank you for joining us on our Monday training, where you learn how our all of our amazing products can help increase your health span. Uh, so before we get started, though, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to our channel. That way you don't miss any of these product launches or any of the education we provide. And as always, give us some comments. We love your feedback. We love to know your takeaway from this and just any, uh, yeah, any advice. So today's Zoom is a perfect example of uh, when people ask questions, things like, hey, how do I improve my body composition? You know, when we're talking about losing weight, they're talking about adding on more lean muscle mass. People wonder why, why are their moods, you know, their moods out of whack. They're not as good as they once were. They're noticing changes in their sleep patterns. Their energy levels are down. Their hair, skin, nails is, you know, thinning. And obviously things with age play into it as well. But there's a huge dietary component that is the solution to a lot of these challenges. And uh, that's what we're going to talk about today, guys. So let's get into it. Yeah, I think a lot of people think, uh, especially when it comes to weight loss, they think I have that last 10 pounds that I just can't seem to budge. Mm -hmm. And I can guarantee you, most of you out there are under consuming in protein. It's a very easy thing to under consume it. So um, that's one of the main reasons why we all need to be taking this every day because A, it's very hard to get in the amount of protein that our bodies need, um, especially to stay within our calorie range, you know, because sometimes, you know, protein sources can be higher um, in, in calories. So to actually get like me personally, I, I, I aim high, I'm about 150 to 160. Uh, grams of protein today. So to get that in, um, it's very challenging to do just by eating maybe um, chicken and beef and whatnot. Our protein, this amazing protein is 20 grams of protein for 100 calories. So very easy to do. I mean, even having it a couple times a day, 200 calories for 40 grams of protein. Done. And easy that's, easy. And exactly. So one of the attributes of this whey protein is that it's a 90% 90, 90 whey protein. So that's the dry weight basis of the protein. And just so all you know that we obviously have a, a plant-based uh, protein that's vanilla flavor. And so we added the chocolate as a way, as an option, and, but I recognize people have flavor right. preferences. Right. And uh, so, you know, look, we're going to continue to evolve and, and bring out new products, guys. So just so, so excited to now offer this as an option because this just is a little bit historical data about the way that whey protein uh, versus plant-based protein, neither one of them have really been that easy to digest. I mean, right. they sometimes are very difficult on the gut. If you want to learn about how our protein, our, our plant protein is different, then there's another video, of course, that we did on that one so that you can learn how the fermented pea improves a lot of those, those less desirable characteristics. On the whey side, though, it can be challenging for people. People that want to try whey protein can have some stomach upset, some G, some GI distress, and that's why we chose the protein isolate, mm -hmm. um, the whey protein isolate. Uh, like I said, it's a ninety percent whey based or weight based uh, whey protein. It's from New Zealand. It's a single source. It's a New Zealand. It's pasture raised. It's grass fed, mm -hmm. uh, high quality. Which honestly was part of the delay was sourcing it. And if if anybody's in the business, they know that. Isolate right now is, is under a lot of demand. It's not an easy market right now. And uh, I was very, very picky. Very, very picky. Which is good. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good. Picky sure. is good, especially when it comes to your health. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's take <laughs> let's take a step back and let's yeah, talk about cool. whey protein. And like, what is whey protein? So your milk, milk, dairy, um, actually has two parts. It's your casein and your whey. Mm -hmm. Okay, so casein is about 80% of, of the milk and your whey is 20%. The whey is the liquidy part. Um, so example, say, have you ever opened up a yogurt, right? And you have that like liquid floating on top. That's your whey. Okay. So when Ryan was talking about the different types, there's talking about isolate, which is what we chose. There's two main types of whey. There's your, your isolate and your concentrate. Um, okay. So the concentrate is a little bit harder on the gut. Well, let's go up. What, what makes the biggest difference is how it's processed. So the isolate goes in, oh, I had a really cool visual. I'm gonna see if I can get that visual. But the isolate is the most purest form and it goes through a little bit more of a, a step, right? To help further break it down. So um, it's why it's a lot, it's a lot it's easier to, di to digest. Yeah. yeah, so most people can digest whey protein isolate. The concentrate also, the big difference there is it contains more of your um, carbohydrates and fats. So it tends to be higher caloric, 
Um, so especially if you're like on, um, you know, any type of weight loss diet, you definitely don't want the concentrate because that's just going to amp up those calories. Um, but, and a lot of it also comes from like the, the sugars in it. Uh, so that's another reason why the concentrate isn't as, as superior and as preferred. And again, harder to digest. So that whole bad rap of like, I drink a protein shake and like my stomach is just, you know, grumbling and I'm gassy and bloated. That's why you want the whey protein isolate. So, um, yeah, biggest difference there. Okay. Awesome. Um, what about the needs on protein? Did you want to comment on that? I know how you like to reinforce that yeah. a lot. With okay. So it's an old school of thought that we need 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. Now that is way underscoring the actual needs that our bodies require. That is like, that's the very bare minimum. That's to prevent disease. That's to survive. That's not to thrive. Prevent malnutrition. Ma yeah, know. to prevent malnutrition. And we're not here on this earth to just survive, guys. We're here to thrive. We're here to Boom. really fuel our bodies with what it needs to perform its best. Um, so a great rule of thumb is about one gram of protein per one pound of body weight. So um, that's a lot. It's, goal, it's a lot. That's why I, I said it's a lot. So that's why using um, a supplement for a protein powder really helps you reach that goal. Um, but it's crucial. It is crucial. Uh, muscle mass is what helps us with aging. It's sure. what helps us keep a lean body mass. It's not just about losing weight. It's not just about losing that number on the scale, guys. Um, it's about transforming your body composition. It's about decreasing the fat and increasing the lean, the lean muscle mass. And that's all together um, the improvement that you want. And you have got to consume adequate protein. I mean, like as Ryan mentioned at the beginning, there's certain other things, uh, brittle hair, uh, nails, you know, your skin is, is dry and, um, Cratery, uh, what else do you say? Lack of sleep, um, or you just feel tired all the time. I mean, all of these things can just be as simple as increase your protein intake. Yeah. It really can. Well, at the core of the protein is the amino acid profile. Yes. And that's one of the reasons why the whey protein has been sort of the leader, the yes. superior type source of protein for so long is because there's really not much else. I mean, now some of the plant-based proteins are getting close to it. Soy had been right up there, but soy sort of sort of out of favor now. Right. But the whey protein has obviously the uh, the best, most desirable uh, amino acid profile mm -hmm. for those reasons, because it helps maintain the body's muscle protein synthesis. Uh, so that way that the body is not breaking down the muscle, because that's what will happen in fasting states and different times of life under a lot of stress is like the body will break down muscle to free up the amino acids because Remember, these amino acids are the building blocks for other things like hormones and neurotransmitters right. and enzymes. Very, very, very important biological and, well, I guess, uh, yeah, the physical right. component of it. So, right. And it really, biochemistry, um, maybe that's. I was looking, I was looking at a chart too, and whey protein isolate is most comparable to like the incredible edible egg. I mean, it really is lines up there with the bioavailability, with the amount of amino acids. I mean, mm -hmm. It is just so powerful and healthy. And what Ryan was talking about, the amino acids. So, you know, there's the nine essential amino acids, which was 20 amino acids in general, but there's nine of them essential. We must get them from our diet. And that's what whey is. It's the complete protein um, because it has all nine of those essentials. And it also has them in the right proportions that our right. body really needs to have that that hormone benefit and that muscle mass um, increase. So that's why whey is really touted as, as one of the best. And now Absolutely. if you are lactose intolerant, you can typically tolerate isolate okay, because of it, because of how it's broken down. Yep. Um, but if you have a dairy allergy, that's a different story. And, but again, that's also why we have a, a vegan source. Um, but Ryan, let's tell us. So we have our whey protein isolate. Yep. Uh, that we know now contains all the nine essential amino acids because that's what whey protein isolate is. What else have we done to this to enhance it, to make I, it that much better? And for our, yes, the health of, the, yes, two main things. So we added colostrum mm -hmm. and then we added digestive enzymes. The colostrum is, is, is fantastic. It's, it's also a pure grass bed because it, again, it's, it's the first milk. Mm -hmm. So it's still from bovine source. Um, if you Google a little bit about colostrum, you'll see that it's very, very popular, popular in the kind of two main segments, really health and beauty. Mm -hmm. uh, it's sort of overtaken collagen a little bit. It's kind of competing for some of that space, but I like both of them right. still. And then it's also really in the gut health and immune yeah. health. Yeah. Right. And so Huge. a lot because it's 20% IgG, so immunoglobulin G. So when you start getting into about 
the benefits and how it works, you really will learn that colostrum is an incredibly powerful bioactive compound. Mm -hmm. There's just so much, so many uh, things going on with that product. So right. great for, for, for the tight junctions in the gut. So people that suffer or have years of abuse of gut, gut lining sort of destruction, if, mm -hmm. if they've been on, you know, acid suppressing medications for reflux. There's a lot of meds that can really disrupt the microbiome in the gut, but I mean, leaky gut has become a popular I was going to say, not word. to mention, most of us have some kind of gut issue where there's inflammatory some foods yeah. or something going on. Colostrum has been shown to be very beneficial. Um, and of course, we're talking about the gut at all times. We're never not thinking about the gut when we formulate. It's always a priority for us. And so colostrum seemed to be a really nice fit in this product. And you'll probably see colostrum again in the future from us because we like working with it so much. Sure. Um, so yeah, I mean, so the colostrum, great. In addition to the the, the di digestive enzymes. Yeah. Yeah. So digestive enzymes, we all, I mean, I think people know about them, but I mean, they're really everywhere. They're in our, they're in our saliva, uh, but they're very, very prevalent in our gut because that's really what is the, the, the cornerstone for breaking down foods and freeing up the nutrients so they can absorb really in the in parts of the gut, but sometimes in the small, mostly in the small intestine. But right. digestive enzymes are so, so, so critical. And, you know, it's, it's unfortunate, one of those things where you're starting to see such a, a decline in people's uh, concentration of digestive enzymes. Right. I was going to say, know. in a perfect world, we would not have to supplement with digestive enzymes, guys. We, um, our body makes them, but that's the problem is we're not making this. So you could be taking all the protein that you want and um, and this can be shown too on, you know, a, a simple test from your doctor and you could show like your protein is low and it just shows too, that your body is just not absorbing it. You're taking it, taking it, taking it. You're not breaking it down. You're not absorbing it. So you're not able to get the benefits. So it's almost like you're consuming say 150 grams of protein, but your body's not utilizing it. So the digestive enzymes really help to, um, to break it down so you can absorb it. And, you know, they're targeted for you to, uh, what digestive enzymes are targeted for is your Mac to help you digest and absorb your macronutrients, yeah, proteins, protein. carbohydrates, and fats. Yeah. And here we have it, you know, obviously designed it, for- it, our Exactly. So the word protease, the ACE is the enzyme mm -hmm. aspect, breaking down protein. You have lipase, breaking down the lipids. Um, amylase and then we have i have a note here amylase and then uh the protease and i said that right amylase lactate oh sorry lactase so your lactic mm -hmm. lactose right yep. uh, which is great and then so the flavor is chocolate but you'll notice we added a little bit of vanilla and some himalayan sea salt to balance out the okay. flavor profile because challenge the challenge is flavor guys we don't like ultra sweet we try to keep uh, the amount of additives at a very 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 minimum at the absolute very minimum right in addition we had organic um Organic, the, the vanilla flavor is organic. It's it's obviously a natural organic vanilla flavor. And the monk fruit, uh, we use monk fruit as a primary sweetener and a little bit of stevia. Both of those are organic as well. Right. And if you, um, once we launch it, which um, we should be making this live yep. tomorrow, Today's so tomorrow. make sure. Um, but once we do, you can also look at the ingredients and there's very few. And that's few. one. That's all. I just listed all of them. Yeah. Oh, and the organic cacao powder. Right. So, and that's yeah. one thing you really need to look for when you're looking for a, a protein supplement. I mean, there's so many on the market. I actually would just, the, the um, protein powder market is expected to reach 32.6 billion by 2027. So that sheer number alone of protein powders on the market means that you have got to know what's in it, what you're taking and why. You can't just go random and buy a protein powder. You really have to choose your source wisely. And guys, look, to learn more, it's so easy. You can just go to livegood.com. You'll see, click on the products, click the learn more section. You can dive in there, see more about all of our other awesome products. And there's an easy place right there where you can buy the product right. at livegood.com. And even easier, just click the link yeah, in the description and it'll take you right to the protein powder. So, um, and so what we said, 100 calories, 20, 20 grams of protein. There's 30 servings per bag. One gram of fat. I mean, guys, this is like super. And, and you know, we always get the questions about, is it diabetic friendly? Yeah. Two carbohydrates, one fiber, one sugar. I mean, very, very, very friendly on the body. Yeah. Awesome. Um, any questions over there? Yeah, there are. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, so they just asked what we sweetened it with. And I just said it's predominantly monk fruit yep. and uh, a little bit of stevia. And it's not overly sweet, you know, because again, when you're making a protein shake, it's also very easy to add things to change it a little bit rather than find something that maybe has all these extra added flavors and type of things that you don't want. So if you prefer something um, maybe a little sweeter, you can add your own, a little more stevia. You can add half a banana. I mean, you know, obviously the choices are endless. The variety is endless. Question from Anonymous, is best time to take it? Can you talk about that a little bit? 
I mean, any recommendations for using it before or after exercise? Best time to take it is, I mean, any time that works for you, honestly, but there used to be a school of thought that you would have to work out and consume, you know, in 30 minutes. Now, if you're looking, if you're really like into bodybuilding, um, yes, maybe within those 30 minutes of working out because it helps with the hormone response, which obviously helps with the muscle synthesis. Um, but honest guys, make sure you're just getting the protein in throughout the day. So use it as a snack in between meals, um, because obviously hundred calories is not a meal. So this is not a meal replacement, but you can make it a meal replacement by adding, start adding other ingredients, ingredients to it. So, um, again, to have a meal replacement, you really want your three macros in there. And I just told you that our carbohydrates and our fats are very, very low, like one gram. So you need to add those to it to make it a, um, uh, I'm going to replace them. Thank you. Yeah. So let's say add some avocado, add a quarter of avocado, add some fruit. Okay. There you get your carbohydrates from the fruit, um, amp it up. You put our collagen in there, right? Yeah. How about sure. our coffee, coffee and chocolate? Yes. Yeah, okay, delicious. Sure. Um, so, but, right. And then Melody also asked, is it the current weight? So if the goal of protein is one gram per pound of body weight, desired. one gram, it's desired or ideal body weight, yeah. which if you're not sure what that is, ideal body weight has a generalized uh, calculation. You can just Google that for IBW and you, I would do it based on that. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. So right here we have, we have our, um, little blender frother, just put a scoop oh, yeah. of it Super in easy. water. So this is the most simple, you know, basic form, mix it up. So easy. It mixes so very nice. That was close. And Anna asked if we've added L-arginine. No, no, no. The amino acid profile is its standard amino profile based on, on the way. And it's good. It's nice, right? Is it nice? <laughs> yeah. Awesome. There was a question here. Um, Chicky asked, is it meal replacement? I think you just answered yes. that. That's They're awesome. It's not. And uh, guys, let me go back to the top. Otherwise. And I'll go back to just touch on meal replacements because you, you did ask to. Um, so there's no, in the US, there's no regulation for meal replacements. So you have to be a little careful with that marketing because you might go to the health food store and you see a protein powder on it says meal replacement. I, we could have put that on here, but I'm straight up telling you that hundred calories is not enough for a meal. The protein content, sure, but this is not a full on meal replacement. But again, you can make it that way. And you know, we will give examples. I will give recipes as you know, we play around and experiment with all different things. I mean, I even like throwing some sweet potato in my protein shakes. Why not, right? If I'm using it as a meal, make it a meal, right? What are the questions? Uh, no other questions. There was a question, okay. actually, there was one thing, I'm not sure, uh, about price, but it's 30 servings in a bag. I can't believe how low the price is, to be honest with you. For members, it's going to be under $30. Right, which is awesome. I mean, that's it's, and, under a dollar per serving. Yeah, very, <laughs> very thrilled and happy that you guys, that we can get this to you at that price yeah. point. So make Nothing sure, else I right. Right. Um, also another way to do it guys is, you know, we have our shaker, which is on our website and the bottom two compartments unscrew. Okay. You can put your protein powder in there and you can mix it up for later. So very easy. Take this with you when you're ready to go, you dump your protein powder in, you put your liquid of choice in water is just perfect. Shake it up and it's easy to go. So there's really no excuse, right? We should never be driving around thinking, oh my God, I'm starving. I need to run and get some fast food. This is your fast food. Natalie asked a question. They said, can a person with celiac, wheat allergy, or gluten intolerances use this product? Um, there should be no reason no, why not. not. I mean, we are tested. We're tested gluten-free. Yep. Um, there's yep. no wheat. Gluten. Yep. yep. As usual, you'll see the certificate of analysis, heavy metal testing performed, uh, gluten testing, and pesticide, come pesticide testing. Right. All right. Awesome. Yep. So again, this is our new release of our whey protein isolate with colostrum. And we talked about the added digestive enzymes. It will be live on our website tomorrow. So make sure you check that out. Um, you will see the price. You get to play around the ingredients, um, share with your friends. And if you don't know anything about our, um, our plant-based protein, you know, you can just click on the video right here and then you'll learn all about our plant-based protein as another option to protein sources. All right. Sounds good to me, guys. All right. Thank you guys for tuning in. We hope you learned something and cannot wait for you guys to try this and let us know how you like it. Take care, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye.